there's there's um there's certainly always that that insecure voice that's like gonna try to make you believe it rather than hmm. believing the moment you're in you know there's and i think that's something that you know i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because it's it's what drives you to be better but um i i have to i struggle quieting that voice personally like i've 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 had so much anxiety and like for a while there like full on like panic disorder um just being like i'm going to i'm going to get on stage and forget all the words i'm going to i'm going to get up there and forget how to play i'm going to and like just getting in your head and like spiraling out and there's there's really no explanation for it it just and that's that's just the thing with like anxiety and that kind of stuff is sometimes it's almost impossible to pinpoint where it's coming from or why it's even there and uh you know but it, it helps to to write positive things that are like, okay, I, I believe this. Wait, do I believe this? Yes, I believe this, you know? And I, so how I, do you deal with that when you have that panic? I mean, was this fully like diagnosed? Like do you have to take medication or what? Like, just, yeah, just... no, I, um, there for, there for a while, I, I always, I, so I, I ended up going, I reached a point where Caleb, the drummer pulled me aside and was like, dude, you got to go see a doctor, man. Like you, you can't, keep doing this to yourself because i would get like physically sick before every show and then like not want to see people or like just it, it it wasn't a good a good thing so i ended up going to a doctor and having like a pretty much a full-on like breakdown and it's funny because then the doctor asked me to sign a copy of our first record she had <laughs> in her car and i was like oh my god the world is against me you know and um I got I got prescribed medication which I didn't want to take because I I um I've had family members who've you know gotten on this particular medication and kind of it it didn't help it it sort of zombified them and uh, yeah. I know that you know sometimes people really do need medication and I and I did and I once I found the right medication I took it for a while and then I st and I started almost finding power in not taking it going i'm okay and and trying to do other things that were that were grounding for myself and then it and then it became i'm not going to take the medication i'm going to put it in my pocket and i'll know it's there if i need it and um and then it became i'm not going to put it in my pocket i'm going to leave it in my backpack and i'll know it's in my backpack if i need it i can have the guitar tech go get it or something mm -hmm. and now it's like i don't have it so, and it, I don't know, it's, I don't know, everybody's, everybody's experience is totally different and I have a lot of sympathy for people going through it. And there's a, you know, I think talking to people is good. Talking about it's good. There's too many people acting like it's not a, not a real thing, you know? No, it's definitely real. I just had, um, Doug Pinnock from, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the band Kings oh, X. I love Kings X, man. Doug yeah, dude. He was telling me about that. He had the same thing. He had panic disorder and he said, it's, it's real. And he said his theory is like the panic is try is bringing something to the surface, like something that you need to deal with. So I, I don't know. I, that's an interesting I, I, I theory. hundred percent agree with that, man. It's it. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe you've kind of dealt with that and now you've moved on from it. Yeah, totally. Yeah could always resurface and then you got to deal with something else. So that's just life. It goes up and down and part of life, man. I think, and it's, it's also, I mean, the, the thing that I, that I'm grateful for about it is like now that whenever I have, I, I've had a few people close to me in the last few years who've, who've gone through a similar thing because it's when it was happening to me for like, when it first started, I was canceling everything, you know, staying in bed, not wanting to not being productive at all. Like, you know, and I, and I, changed i changed a lot of stuff i went like a year without even drinking coffee dude i mean i drink tons of coffee wow so i was i was like really like what's going on what did i break my brain you know and and i never understood it whenever people talked about it until it happened to me and now it's been interesting to have friends around me who've dealt with a similar thing and getting to to be like this is not something that's forever and it's also not something that you're alone in you know mm-hmm so, and, and there, that's another thing that I'm really grateful for is like on our truth and lies record, that was like at the height of when I was going through that mentally. Um, and there are certain songs in there like panic button or shape I'm in. And I've had so many people come up to me being like, that's how I felt too. I feel like that. And, and I think that's cool that music sort of can provide that sense of like, I'm heard. That's, 
that's where I am too, you know? 